Hello there, and welcome back to Foundry. Yes. We're back on Foundry once again, going to be joining the multiplayer game that uh, Dragon is uh, hosting for us. Uh, we're no longer doing the dedicated server because there's, uh, he's had too many issues with this, so I think he's just going to straight just host the multiplayer. Um, if you would like to find him, his channel link down is down in the description below. Uh, you can check him out. Uh, he is a live streamer here on YouTube, so you can check him out over on the live tab there. You can also find him and others underneath the friendly content creator section. Uh, there, so yeah. Like I said, we're going to be joining him in voice and in chat. We'll probably have another one or two people, <laughs> as we usually uh, often do. At least one other, uh, so language warning on that. Uh, if you have not seen it, uh, we also uh, did a video on Valheim. Uh, Valheim, the new Ashlands update that just came out not too long ago. We finally, finally were able to get around to it. Uh, Dragon set up a, a dedicated server for that, so that's going to be fun. That's going to preoccupy our time as well. But today is Tuesday, of course, uh, at least at the time of this recording. Uh, it is Tuesday. <laughs> it is Tuesday's factory day for him, so we're going to be joining him uh, on that. So, all right. Without uh, wasting too much more of your time, let's go ahead and jump on in. Let's go. All right, here I am. Hey, what's going on? Going. I haven't heard back from Don Holmes. I don't know if he's going to be joining us tonight or not. He was on earlier. So. Not on this one. <laughs> Character right. crafting speed's almost complete. And I was thinking about this earlier today while I was at work. Go figure. <laughs> you think about um, non work things. But, uh, well, it was because when I was doing some testing, and I'm still doing some testing for the dedicated server to figure out what's going on with it, um, I'm probably just going to cancel the thing. Hmm. But I was thinking about the way you got your old Derek set up, and it looks really amazing. But I was thinking about unlocking a construction bit for you. What? A, a construction bit for you. <laughs> what? What does that mean? The, the monument. Huh? Makes a giant statue of us. <laughs> and I was saying you could put it on top of your uh, posts up here. <laughs> we'll have four of them. <laughs> Based in different directions. What if we could do like poses and stuff? That'd be cool. I have no idea. And I don't even know if this space is big enough for the monument. I, yeah, the, you see it in the loading menu, and you just uh, it's just like, how in the hell big is that damn thing? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's massive looking. Ah, uh, man. All right. Oh, and when you get a chance. Whenever you make it back over to the base, I, I, I've discovered something that tickled me when I was uh, roaming around the base uh, prior to the stream and accidentally activated my mining laser while I was looking at BB. <laughs> and oh, he makes all kinds of funny noises when you hit him with the mining laser. So now, uh, something that I checked out, and you can see this, because uh, it's close to you. If you come over to the Ignum Drill, I discovered something that looks really cool. What's that? When you, we have to go downstairs so I can show you. What, the drill? Yeah. Yeah, I'd seen it. Well, you see how deep it's gone? Yep. But only on one of them. Yeah, I was looking at the other one, I was just like, is it, is it possible that that one hit the, the core portion that it needs the other stuff? Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure. That's what it seems like, because it says it, it keeps going and then it'll hit the core and then you need the drilling liquid. Yeah. So, this has got no material coming out of it. Yeah. But, it drilled way back, oh yeah. 
Look at that, it changed color. Oh yeah, that was like darker. Yeah. Yeah, saying it'll continue to mine uh, limitlessly. But well, we can't get that until we get the purple research. Yeah. As long as fracking, a uh, fracking tower is pumping fracking like that into the yeah. dealio. Yeah, that is cool though that it has like these little carts in here. Right. And it's mining. It's like gotcha. a, like a little little cart train. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was awesome. They came up with some inventive uh, things to make it look look good. Let me just weld the. Uh, I'll just weld the door shut. Right. <laughs> Sounds like a welder to me. Good old arc welder. But I was even nice and, and waited until, uh... I mean, we're making foundation at a pretty good rate. So with you and me both using it, we run out frequently. But hey, you know, you already used you know, 40,000 pieces of uh, foundation. You, you don't get any more. More than that. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sure. I, I I was trying to do the calculation. I, I Honestly, I couldn't come up with the calculation on exactly how much you had used. I, I was bringing back the, somewhere around the tune of 10,000 at a time, so most of my inventory is full. I made many trips. <laughs> yep. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Being bullied around by a bunch of everybody, a couple well, of you, robots in top hats. <laughs> well, and, and you can't tell if he's complaining or if he's acting like it tickles him. Yeah, I think it's probably ticklish. <laughs> oh, ooh, that's warm. Hey, mining laser. I keep forgetting I can't completely fill up my inventory when I'm trying to do this. <laughs> Alright, back to the grind. Get this damn drone factory done. The setting up portion is the longest. <laughs> it's yeah. always the, as long. Getting the materials to where you need it. Getting an idea, getting a plan together. Uh, what do I have that I'm willing to trash? Here we go.
A little bit of a hiccup there. Yeah. A bit. Now we're going to run this a straight line. Boundary already put in place. I'll be able to just use the delete tool on the ground, you know? Yep. That's what I want. Like, have, a, have it as an upgrade. <laughs> addition. Like a little addition to your deletion. Later on. After you felt the pain of digging one block at a time. Right. For a little while. <laughs> I mean, sure, I could do some of this with explosives, but this is going to make the hole way too big. So I'm yeah. literally just kind of scraping off a layer of the topsoil here to put down the, the foundation oh, yeah. for this. Yeah, the explosive, I can't remember how many blocks it is, but it's like, I think it's at least four or so uh, in a diameter, four or five. Right. So, yeah. We're just doing a block or two layer is just too much. I'm gonna take a second and grab a smoke shot. No. Take a stretch a little bit. Now it's time for ah. waterproof electrical line. <laughs> <laughs> I am now completely <laughs> submerged, putting down very high voltage lines. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, it should work. Yeah, I, I'd seen it on your stream and just like, oh my gosh, this could take you forever. Might be an oversight. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah. do your explosive stuff first <laughs> no finish that no, up because uh, if I if I do that then we are going to run out of alright how 
How's the box looking? Ah, the box is okay. But no, no, the rest of this I'll just drill out myself. But you can see the size of the pad that I'm working on putting down. Yeah. yeah I put down a border all the way around to be able to have a square in the mouth. Yeah. Some I might not have. Might have to make a factory to make this. What's that? The catwalks. Ah. Catwalks are I love the catwalks in this game. They're they're amazing. Cause it's a it's a it's a modular system as well. Okay. And it connects itself together. It's it's so cool. <laughs> it's like oh I can't say what it's like because you don't play that game. Never mind. But yeah, it's really cool. It's like I want Satisfactory's catwalks to be like this. I'd be able to do okay. so much with it. by hand does take a long time. One block at a time. Just explore for belts and things. this area with foundation just so we can feel like we got something done <laughs> take a break from mining Spike.
and it's starting to get filled in. Crash rates and speed rates. Assemblers, random assemblers. Pump jacks. That. Ah. Distillation columns. Casting machines. Chemical processors. And all the cool stuff. That was a full blood horde that he brought back. Yeah. <laughs> There was at least ten normal ones. Just I, I just I, I see him, you know, coming toward me, and I'm just like, oh, you got uh, you got some friends along, and then I just see him come up over the hill, and I'm just like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it's like it, it reminded me of watching that one of them, one of them. Uh, you know, uh, whatever they call them, type of era movies where they get a big old army running over the hill. Oh yeah. And you just, this is like, oh, that's not that many of them, and then you just see them, ooh, just the whole entire hill just turns to just people. <laughs> Can't even see the hillside anymore. <laughs> that's what it reminded me of. Like, Damn. I can see that. It's a good analogy. And hey, welcome back, Frostbite. Off topsoil, so I can put a foundation for the next section of the factory. Welcome back to Ditch Digging Simulator 2.0 3D edition. Right? <laughs> Slapping every name you can on there. Yeah, I tried doing it with explosives, Frostbite. But, uh, we blew up the landing pad on accident. I do plan on dropping one of those sales warehouses over on this side um, so that I don't have to run Fermilite bars from way over there to the all the way to the other side of this factory. <laughs> and that's why we've got Tundra making the, the factory for the maintenance drones. Um, which reminds me, you want to make sure you've got a uh, space for what's it called? And even with the even with the extra jetpack speed, I can see I'm flying across this thing pretty quick. But man, it takes a minute to get across <laughs> my. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Sales warehouse is what you need. I need a yep. space station requester warehouse. Um, so you want to keep in mind the size of the sales warehouse that and what, it's that's what i was talking not about small. saying i was gonna hang one off of like a helicopter platform okay hang okay. it off the edge of the platform here so like there's no way i'm gonna be able to fit all of this plus that on here so uh, yeah yeah i'm thinking about the size of what you've built over there and i'm thinking on 
that'll take up the entire middle of that thing. Yeah, it will. This is 101 by 101. That's the entire mine's, size. Mine's a, uh, mine's a lot by a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's much bigger than that. And I still use less foundation. Well, yeah, you don't have to build massive legs. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that, you know, now that we saw what he did, I'm kind of surprised you haven't used some of the uh, decorative blocks to uh, redo your legs. Because, uh, you know, you can paint those. Eh, I don't know if I really want to paint. The decorative blocks just don't look good. Uh, the regular ones. Not a big fan of them, anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if, I wasn't sure. if there was, I mean, if there was better ones, maybe. I mean, I think there is some some better decorative stuff later on down the road, like big, like big decorative pieces. I can't remember what they're. Or, I, I know I've seen them in somebody's video, but. Uh, uh... I think it was the decor, the the decor walls, maybe. I think that was that. One by five by five, yeah, those are like really big. Like those might be worth. Cause they got like, they got like uh, little bits and pieces that are industrial looking on them. Yeah, so I, I like think that. I've already got all that. I think I've already got all that unlocked. I don't see any decor pieces that I don't have unlocked. Yeah, you can have them unlocked, but still. <laughs> gonna have to uh... the floor has to be made out of foundation and I need at least a little bit of foundation going up through the legs so that transfers oh, yeah. power from one floor to the next on low grid side yeah well that's what I thought was cool about the way that uh, Gone Home did his where the, the core of his pillars is the foundation block so it sends power up to the top floor yeah or down to the bottom floor, where, wherever he's got his tele transformer at. Uh, but yeah, so we can do CPU production. This will get us our Tuluxite ore, the liquid Tuluxite, Tuluxite ingots, Tuluxite wafers, and the CPUs. Uh, now, I already know that I'm going to have to get Olmic Acid over here, which means i got to figure out how I'm going to run the oil line over here. <laughs> but that's part of the reason that I'm building the modular, well, I'm researching the modular storage tank right now. Because I've determined I'm going to need a lot more of, yes. <laughs> Just a lot more of everything. And uh, so, you know, redoing, there's definitely going to be some redesign getting done. And then we got the robot components, which is the hydraulic piston and the robot parts. Now those get used here in the assembly line to, to make the assembly line rail. Uh, but the end point here is um, you got all these things that go in a new sales warehouse as well. But then you got the robot head, torso, the arm, the leg, and then yeah. the paint. You know, all those used <laughs> robot parts and and all kinds of stuff. Really insane. That'll be a mall just in in and of itself. You just have everything delivered to one one factory. Yeah, that <laughs> that was that was my thought. Yeah, it's just like rather than making everything is on top of it all, just have it all being delivered. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but we still need the space for these freaking cargo ships. Like, they yeah. are enormous. Yeah. But um, less work to put the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know the thought that I had over here was I wanted to get the you know get myself set up with the robot parts because once I've got the robot components, the piston, and the robot parts, then I'm all research size pack five. Because Science Pack 5 requires robot parts, hydraulic pistons, and CPUs. At which point, the very first thing I'm researching is that fracking tower. Yep. Because <laughs> you, 
Getting a little low on the old. But stuff. man, the, the the amount of time is going to take to research the fracking tower. Yeah, you know, everything else we've looked at. Yeah, you know, we're looking at thirty seconds per you know per uh, research bit uh, as it goes through the different research packs. Another, yeah, you know, we've seen the sixty seconds. We've seen the thirty seconds. We've seen, you know, yeah, 30, 30 seconds, 45 seconds to 60 seconds. So that's pack five, 30 seconds. Not bad. The fracking tower, 120 seconds. And how per many? 200 of each. Okay. So 200 times two minutes that's, that's four th that's 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 400 minutes well i figure 120 seconds that's two minutes yeah so four uh, minutes to fight that and six hours you got time to process one of each required science items so yeah yeah we're looking at at least six hours yeah. for the research. Over, over six and a half. It's 6.6. .6. Yeah. So, I mean, that's going to take a long time. And then we've got this thing, the blast furnace. That's 300, also at 120 seconds. Slag, proce uh, slag reprocessing, that's 60 seconds. That's not bad. <laughs> um, and pump pipelines. Oh, well, we already have a pump. Is it the pump for the bigger pipes? It must be. Oh, pipeline. Here we go. Oh. Pipelines. Pipelines are a completely separate thing. They're down research level five. Oh. It's not the, you know, the modular so storage. We get the pipe adapter, uh, and it doesn't even kind of give me a description of what it does. Size is three by three by three. <laughs> yeah, so that's six meters by six meters. Oof. Um, but the uh, pipeline a bit. oh the pipeline is why would you give me the freaking adapter way back there and then don't give me the pipeline to use on the adapter until much later <laughs> um, pipelines provide a high throughput alternative to pipes they are mainly required for modular buildings like blast furnaces and hot air stoves. They can be connected to pipes through adapter pieces. And yes, it's got straight corner T intersection, four intersection, six intersection. Yeah, some we don't have in uh, Satisfactory. <laughs> Fortunately. We don't even have the T's either, which is annoying. Yeah. How many times I've needed just a T. So we look at the modular storage tank. Yeah. Modular storage tank. Just the base. The base for the modular storage tank is 25 by 6 by 25. So 25 by 25, 6 tall. Yep. But that's just the base. <laughs> and it's... Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Uh, that, uh, that boy thick. Yeah, so once placed, <laughs> use the modular building planner handheld to configure it. Yeah. Uh, and so you can make it, you, you don't have to, you know, because it's modular, you can decide on how tall you want the thing to be. Um, I'm just, I'm, you know, of course, I'm going to build the biggest one I possibly can, just because oh, yeah. I want to see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, could you imagine just giant silo storage tanks? I'm all about that. Oh, pipe adapter. 
Okay, okay, okay. I, I see why I'm getting the pipe adapter early on. <coughs> because the modular storage tank base, its openings are sized for the big pipelines. Oh, so you um, get an adapter for small. Yeah. Okay. So I can hook the small pipelines up to the modular storage tank base yeah. and, you know, fill it that way. Makes a little more sense now. <laughs> it's, it's the difference between uh, filling the uh, filling the swimming pool with a garden hose versus a fire hose. <laughs> uh. Well, I was just looking at the, our researches that we have available. Um, I I haven't seen a need yet to make these ignum fuel rods. But I have. I just remember, <laughs> they they outfit the casings. Yeah, so we built some incinerators. Yeah. Um. But that means a complete redesign over in our steam area. Yeah. Either that, or we leave our steam exactly as it is, and then do another expansion on it, and then have that running with fuel rods. It's just. Is there really a reason to go to fuel rods? Like, do they provide I'm, more power? I'm not sure. I'm just... I, I don't have a clue. Because the fuel rod casing is advanced machinery parts and steel beams. And then the fuel rod is... Fuel rod casing, 10 wire coil, 20 ignum power, and 400 liquid fuel. Oh my goodness. Oh but the fuel value 100 megajoules oh it's so it's a uh, lasts a hell of a lot longer yeah. Mm. yeah that might be a cause for a redesign yeah I'd be yeah. I'd be okay but, but redesigning it if it's but, but that means we gotta get olamide over there Unless you deliver it. Could you use that same oh, no. delivery station no, for there's, multiple things? There's actually a massive Olamite reservoir just on the other side of the lake that we're building the steam at. Okay. So, you know, we could just cover the entire lake with foundation. I mean, <laughs> might as well at this point. And just go, all right, man, this is our power station. Who needs nuclear? Who needs nuclear? We can, we can set up, you know, three hundred steam turbines. Yeah, I'm hoping for nuclear though, because I think that'd be amazing. <laughs> well, I mean, something, something beyond steam. Yeah. Because you know, I, I think about it in, uh, in satisfactory. You know, we, we've got our coal, which is basically your steam power. Because you, you run coal and water to them. So, yeah, they're, they're running off of steam. And then the next thing we have is the fuel. Which, you know, I go insane with. When I decide to build the massive fuel uh, power station that's got how many was it 100 and 140 something or more it was a lot of them <laughs> then it took a lot of work to balance it because as as the uh, as the people from satisfactory pointed out um the the math on the pipes is not accurate Really hoping that gets fixed in 1.0. This is—it wasn't a game-breaking thing. So. Yeah, no. They weren't gonna bother with it right now. <laughs> yeah. So the other thing I'm looking at. Well, I gotta plan this area out here. Because this is what's going to make the level five research. This, this is the zone 
then I'm going to do the level 5 research in. Uh, mainly because it'll be easy enough to run a belt down through here over to the research station to get the level 5 getting pumped into. We're gonna run out. We're gonna run out of traditions. <laughs> you think what you, is uh, there? Up to your foundation production. Well, I didn't up the production. I just up the storage. <laughs> yeah. And the whole reason we did that was because we were tired of having to go all the way over to the science lab to grab more foundation. as well just square it all off. <laughs> hey, some of it's going to be pointless, but... Well, because I think doing this way, it'll make it easier for. It'll make it easier for a lot of things. Because this will give a spot to do a modular tank for the Olamite. Speaking of. Oh, yeah. I love the fact that the bottom of your mineral rock <laughs> yeah. is hanging off the ceiling here. Yeah. I thought that was funny. I was like, yeah. There's Thunder. All right, well then I'll follow him and I'll let him describe what he's doing down here. <laughs> what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm putting in uh, four elevators for all the uh, the copper or the, the gold I'm going to need eventually. <laughs> Makes sense. Are those the tier two? Yep, this is all tier two stuff. That's where I'm getting Got my mineral rock. <laughs> Blast your way a bit. I don't have any power right now because I have severed the connection. He broke it. Broke it. It's connected there. Oh, I know what I did. Okay, that's nah, fine. That'll be fixed. Ah. Yeah, and then uh, that elevator is the one that goes to the oil. Going to have pipes running down the side. 
Um, do you want to have a ship that's delivering Zeto Parite for you? Hmm. Need it. Go. Yeah, I'm hooked up to the Zeno Parite to a Zeno Parite right now. <laughs> and then he's got his long tunnel. Yep. Long tunnel, most of, or half of it's underwater. <laughs> Now we're underwater. <laughs> Eventually, I'll get rid of all this water. Eventually. He's gonna try. Yeah. All these lakes, though, exactly the same. Yep. They each carry a single resource at the top. <laughs> well, that one looks like it's gonna carry two, because you got both, you know, you got both Ignum and, uh... No, I've redone the mineral rock. Oh. <laughs> it's under left the elevator. I didn't realize he left the other one. Hello, hello, later. So yeah, this game's called Boundary. Uh, it just hit uh, early access. What three weeks ago, I think. Um, and personally, for an early access game, and for them to just be releasing it. They've really done an amazing job with it. Uh, I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with the updates. Um, they, they don't update nearly as often as other early access games do. But this is his, oh my goodness. Yeah. You got enough? <laughs> yeah. Found my transformer room. Yeah. And they're all and they're all offline. Yep. Because I broke it. I broke the uh, power. Because I was moving one of the walls. I hadn't gotten that fix in it yet. Okay. But yeah, if we uh, go up one more, you can see that each one of these legs only hold one material now. Get to the production floor. There's four elevators. <laughs> We got one in each corner. I got up here first. <laughs> yeah. So this one will be the coal. This one's limestone. Right. Over here. Okay. Yep. And you got iron over here in this corner. <laughs> I see it. Yeah. These ones, all five lines of coal on these. Alright, and then this is gonna be Technum, okay? It's a copper. It's gonna oh. be a lot of crushers. Yep. And, <laughs> well, the so the Technum, I would have recommended building the crushers back where you're mining it. Because you don't need Technum rubble for anything. I'm gonna do it all up here, it's fine. Um, however, the Xenoferrite. Well, I know I need, one you I need both. I need the crushed yep. version. Of that, so. This one, this one you do. But no, uh, it'll, it'll all be done here. It's fine. I got enough room. Okay. It's gonna be tight. Okay. But I don't think you've seen the iron tunnel. That one's actually pretty short. <laughs> And Squirrelock says there's no reason to fix that. It looks like it's free water cooling. <laughs> yeah, I may never get around to fix it because you got to fill in every single block space with found with foundation and then delete each one of those in order to get rid of the water. Yeah, which means you got to get rid of your elevator. Oh, the elevators, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Nice. Yep. Oh boy, you are gonna drill through this thing in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, this is actually one of the more efficient ways of doing it. If you put your your miners right in the middle of the node rather than at the top or the bottom. Well, Just that's, that's why. Distance. Well, that's why I was uh, throwing at you the possibility of 
choosing an area that you want to have the cargo ship set up at because eventually you're going to drill through all of this and you're going to run out of material yeah and I got uh, I got uh, uh, Xenofera Orvane that's not too far that's one of the big ones so it's not a big deal it's like I'd rather get the closer nodes and then branch out sure and then as soon as I hit the water, it's, it's like I hit a wall of water. Yeah, it's like hitting molasses. <laughs> it's like living in the south. <laughs> I lived in Texas before. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I, I get you there, squirrel. Uh, and, and I'm 100% with you. Um, they, they've supplied a couple of minor updates. Uh, that didn't give uh, quality of life things or anything like that, but they did stuff to assist with uh, some memory leaks and stuff that were happening. Uh, but I've been I've been very impressed with the with the work they've done on this. Uh, the if you played Factorio, and I I have not played a lot of Factorio at all. And I also haven't played a lot of Dyson Sphere. But I feel like this game has a lot in common with both of those games. It's like playing a 3D version of those, in my opinion. Um, with like the research and stuff like that. Hey, heck, the little research blocks I think look just like the ones off of uh, Dyson Sphere. Yeah, they're similar. Um, you know, the blue, the red, the green, the yellow, and then eventually the purple. I mean, the, the research tree no. stuff is all pretty much damn near ripped straight from Factorio. <laughs> uh, yeah. The way it's all laid out and everything. The whole menu so system is, and everything. This is the research tree, so you can see what that looks like. Now, Grant, we've been playing for a while, so we've got a lot researched. We're... And it's going to take a long time to get there. I realize this. But we're getting close into that in-game area because um, eventually there's going to be a point that we're going to hit that it's going to be going okay what else do we need to build and what person what purpose are we going to be building it for and what will wind up happening for me because we're so far along but once we get to that point then it's it's going to be okay this game's on hold until we get an update. <laughs> yeah. Which I hope is soon. Um, and then, well, yeah, if we don't get an update soon, then we'll grab a different factory game that we can do multiplayer with. <coughs> but I want one that's going to be kind of meaningful and everything. You know, uh, I mean, Tundra and I have already talked about it. I'm probably not going to jump back into Satisfactory until we hit the 1.0. Um, Factorio, I haven't really scratched the surface of, and thankfully it is multiplayer. So that might wind up being our Tuesday night game uh, when we get to the point that we've wrapped this up. But this is still going to take many, many, many weeks before we ever get to one of this because we're running off of my local save, so it's not like this thing's on a dedicated server. Or we can say, okay, go research this thing. All right, everybody go to bed. We'll, um, we'll come back and check this tomorrow. So. Autonauts? Yes. Yeah, uh, and Scrap Knots was another one that I thought looked interesting. Um. There's been a few games that I've looked at, with Tundra, even. Um, but uh, some of them... Some of them tickled our fancy, some of them didn't. Uh, Final Factory, you know, kind of looked interesting. But then... It, it felt... And I hope people from Final Factory don't ever watch my video, but it felt stupid. Because <laughs> you're out in the middle of space, and you're forced to building on a 2D plane. 
it didn't make any sense. But it 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 was trying to pull some ideas like from uh, well, honestly from Factorio because you got enemies to have to deal with. And then Dyson Sphere, you know, their most recent update brought out enemies. Um, which I mean, Tundra's got an amazing series on Dyson Sphere. You guys should check that out. I mean, geez, the amount of hours he put into it, and then the stuff that he's creating is awesome. Created. <laughs> Stop. Doing too focused on this game. <laughs> I got you. Also starting to hit yeah. that critical point in Dyson Sphere. Every every person that's played it knows that there's a critical point that you hit that the game starts to slow down <laughs> because you've just got too much going on. Ugh. Okay, so it's, so so basically it's uh... because there is no limitations on on the number of stuff you can build. You can build infinitely as long as your PC can handle it. <laughs> you can play right. until the game stops working. <laughs> so it's it's basically whatever your system can handle. Yep. So you know if you so if you if you've got a super cooled super computer sitting in a bat of nitrogen, um, <laughs> then. Uh, But, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean... I mean, I've already and, completed and the game anyway, so... I honestly, I honestly haven't put any thought... Oh, man, but your Dyson Sphere is massive! And you still got a couple of rings left to do. Oh, Dyson Sphere is finished. Oh, I know that's finished, but, you know, you were talking about... Well, the the No, the actual sphere, it, it, it got built. Oh, okay. One of the... In the last episode, it was pretty much done so gotcha so but yeah yeah check that out um ace i think you're still doing some uh satisfactory on boosteroid yeah every saturday or sunday yeah sadly because you introduced me to boosteroid sadly and funny enough I now have to go test out Boosteroid. <laughs> yeah. At work. Hey, if they, if they got a decent internet connection. Well, I have to make sure it's not accessible. What do you mean? I have to make sure that there's a firewall put up to block Boosteroid. To block it? Yeah, because night shift people should not be sitting there playing video games and getting paid. Oh. <laughs> See. Uh, yeah. Well, th that's the thing is you'd have to block. Because uh, you, you, is anybody able to download applications? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, so uh, it's... you got that front, and then you've also got the the browser front too. Right, you can, the browser. You can, you can do it through the browser, or you can download the application. The browser front is the one that's the, the challenging one, and that's the one that I have to take a look at. Um, so, I, I have myself a, a valid excuse to go check out Boosteroid, and I can have the company pay for the subscription. <laughs> for me to test it. There you go. So, all right, so we're still working on CPU production. As you guys can see, the research takes a while. Now, it would take a little less time if we had finished off our research facility. Where am I going now? The freaking top of this tank's got angled catwalks, and we can't do that. Did it already finish the tank? Yeah. I can't even see it. Storage okay. tank's done. I will I will connect to it in a minute. And it looks beautiful. Uh, I will be over there in just a moment. <laughs> I want to get... Oh, actually, I could use your eyeballs. Okay. I can't line up both directions. Alright. 
So where are you trying to line up to? So uh, you see the ports that are towards where we've got the uh, inputs currently sitting? Yeah. I want to make sure I've got this lined up with those. Okay. So backward, go backwards about five, six squares. Towards me? It, yeah, the, the way you're facing just walk straight backwards. Oh, okay. Like that? Yeah, keep going. About five, six squares or so. Oh, you had it. Okay. Because <laughs> you're right on the edge of that foundation. Yeah. And yeah, now you have to go back again. Why is it doing it? Oh, because I, I moved it off the foundation. All right. How many How many back? Uh, oh, oh. Go forward one. Oof. There you go. Okay. Lined up exactly now. Thank you. should now be fixed. And I got that wall in place. All my belts. <laughs> this entire tunnel's floor is just belts. Something like that. Alright, so... This is here. Careful not to destroy the power line. <laughs> yeah. You redoing your pipe? Yep. Tired of it floating in the. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's still gonna float, but. require less pipeline. I don't think that's in a straight line. It is not. But I don't want to lose whatever I got set up there with the pump, so...
hooked up again. Did what now? Uh, I may have screwed us on our yellow research. How's that? Because oh, it also uses permalite bars, and now I'm taking them all and melting them into liquid permalite. <laughs> well, didn't we back up somewhere? No. Yeah, 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 it was backed up. But... I go and look at the sales table and it's weird this, this, this warehouse can only hold like a thousand from light bars really and and this is a spot that giant was even talking about where he was having a challenge um that you know yeah this thing's got all kinds of outputs and everything on it where you can basically line up your output however you want to but he can't produce enough from light bars yeah. To 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 keep the factory running. Well, that's what we're making this for. Ho and yeah, hope this that thing, this is enough. <laughs> this thing is emptying. Well, that's gonna be enough here for now. Um. Yeah. Okay. And one delivery is only two hundred permalite bars. Mm. So you need to put down multiple of those. Okay. Then. Okay. Well, no, no. I'm I'm watching these ships just deliver like crazy right now. <laughs> curious, like if you put down multiples of those. Yeah, I'm I'm serious. Just watching the ships just coming in nonstop. Yeah, you had so much like uh, stored up there on the station. <laughs> oh yeah, it was just finally able to deliver it all. So that's a that's a good question now. I can't even see the radio tower for the tower for, for the freaking wow. <laughs> Damn tanks are in the way. Sales. <laughs> uh, I got twenty. I got twenty-four thousand currently in there. Yeah. See, th this is where we had our panic attack chat because uh, we suddenly ran out of ignum and xenoferrite. So if you look at our profits here and our, uh, you know, because it, it goes out much farther than the maintenance drone does. But, you know, day 19 and 20, or 20 days ago, 19 days ago, yeah, well, we ran into a problem. Because on these two days, we suddenly stopped producing anything. Because we completely ran out of, you know, uh, of the uh, igneum. Uh, I, I wish, you know, and uh, yeah, that's hindsight. I wish I'd been streaming when this happened because <laughs> it, it went from going, whoo! We're going awesome. Profit is good. To all of a sudden, we're not making anything. And uh, and we we caught it on a fluke. Oh man, the yellow's almost. It's almost backed up to the storage container now. It's only got a little ways, a little ways further to go.
So yeah, chat, we're only gonna be running for about another hour. Tonight. Um at least on stream. Uh Grant, I don't plan on leaving it up much longer after that either. Because, you know, some of us have to so some of us have to do the adulting thing. I like Tundra who, who gets to just play games all day and get paid for it. I wish. Somehow. I wish I got paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. I just got bedinked. Late at night for them to be bedinking me. Hmm? This better be freaking important. <laughs> on that because my little eyeball it claims that I saw it. I have become the foundation man. You have. <laughs> But no, no, I mean, one of the challenges that I have is that, uh, oh, do I say that on stream or not? <laughs> uh oh, because you got to question it, probably not a good idea. <sighs> Although my, my time is, <laughs> my time's limited. Because uh, I do a lot of streaming, so it's uh, does present some challenges. Mm -hmm. This thing's still machine inventory full. I wonder. Hey. Do I have? Hey, no problem, Dave Vante. Yeah, that means we're not too far off in uh, age. And uh, funny enough, we'll be the babies in the game. Because, uh, yeah, I'm playing with a bunch of old school gamers. <laughs> That's crazy. I think... I think these machines are useless. So we're gonna go ahead and remove them. We're gonna cover up the hole afterwards. But yeah, I mean, if, if you got if you got yourself a few minutes uh, after the stream. Then I'd love to chat with you and, uh, and let's see, uh, well, first off, let's see if, if our game style fits what you're looking for. Um, cause that, that's, that's important. You know, if, uh, if our style of storytelling is going to fit with what you're looking for. Um, yeah, I, I try to make sure to take all those all those pieces into consideration because so I, I don't want you to join a game that you don't have fun with because that, that's the goal of it is to have fun i've been there of course i wasn't uh wasn't uh D, D 
It's, uh, it, it, it wasn't one of my games. Uh, it was uh, World of Darkness. Which oh. is very similar. Oh, but... oh I, I played so much World of Darkness. Um, but it just it, there there was a point in the game it just became boring to play and so, then they're just like hey you want to we're playing again this this week and I want to go and I'm like eh, no <laughs> so so was yours tabletop or live action what do you mean I guess um, so live action was uh, we would uh, World of Darkness really lends itself to live action role play. Um, live action role play is uh, the easiest way to put it. Did you roll dice or do you play paper, rock, scissors? Uh, we, yeah, we rolled dice. We sat around the table, yeah. I guess you'd say. <laughs> With paper. <laughs> okay. Right, and so our you, imagination. So you, so you did tabletop. Yeah. Live action, um, the die rolls are, are replaced with a paper, rock, scissors system. Strange. Well, you think it's strange until you actually get to play it. Because yeah, when when I when I first encountered it, I went, "Wait a minute, we're gonna replace ten side dice with uh, paper, rock, scissors? What?" Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would have to see it uh, in order to understand. I it, guess. It, oh, it worked really well because my my favorite part about it is that you know the, the game had so many extra players all right that's cleaned up but yeah i had, I had hit a point in that where it's just it just stopped being fun so it's just like eh, just not a joke i played <laughs> well i played i played both Gar i played both a garu and i also played several vampires I did. Oh. Uh, I did werewolves. Well, I played a Silent Strider. So my, my Silent Strider was probably my favorite Garou I ever played. Actually, still got my werewolf dice as well. Um, but uh, <laughs> oh my my guy my my Garou was an alpha, and and he had rage issues. Mm. Um, specifically, he had a problem with anybody mentioning BSD, you know, Black Spiral Dancer. And the vampires had taken it, taken a habit of referring to Garou as BSD's big smelly dogs. And somebody was playing a brand new character. Because we, we, we had integrated both the Vampire and the Garou game together. And we were working on trying to make it where we could actually try to coexist. Um, yeah, that, that meeting ended in failure. Hmm. Uh, because uh, brand new character, brand new player, I felt horrible for him. But, you know, I had to play my character. And he got sat next to me. And the first words out of his mouth was, Why do I got to sit next to this BSD? And my character's brain just snapped. <laughs> Instantly, Kratos raked his claws across the floor and popped the top. And when I say popped the top, it was claws through the throat and ripped the head off. Wow. Yeah. Negotiations uh, did, uh, didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! we backed up enough on the green research that we actually now have a supply of concrete. Holy cow. <laughs> now, Grant, because he was a brand new player, 
what we did for him so he didn't have to spend any time building a whole new character. We basically went, all right, change the name of your character and uh, you can come back in. <laughs> wow. It was his first night plan. But no, uh, the thing I loved about Lark was you, you have a lot more players. I mean, we, we had, in our LARP, we had somewhere around 40 players. That's and so you too really, much info. And so you really got to interact with their people. You really got to get the, oh, especially on the vampire side. Oh, man. The politics and the machinations of trying to screw each other over. Oh, that, that shit was real. Yeah, we're going to run out for a play bars. Oh, well, maybe not. Now, if I remember that next week. Hold on, let me see. Squirrelock's saying something here. Yeah, yeah, no, no, my problems don't happen for other games. It's but I don't use Pocket Host. Yeah, the only game I, I set up Pocket Host for was this. Um and also because of the challenges I've been having with them, um, I'm looking at just canceling my subscription to them because I'm not using them. So why spend the money? Not that it's expensive, but it doesn't matter. I mean, even if you're spending $8 a month on something that you're not using, then why spend the money on it? Now, would, would I like to have it working so that when we got some of these bigger researches that we're doing, next time we log in, we can go, ooh, research completed. That'd be awesome. <laughs> and I could work on these bigger projects as well. With exactly. That. Exactly. Hey, hell, you could record the bigger projects, you know, without needing me to have the game up and running. You know? To add to the content of your channel. But I, I realized it was a lot of just throwing down foundation and stuff, but you know, digging a lot and doing some planning and whatnot. But you know, chat, we got a lot done tonight. Squirrel, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> Another squirrel has entered the chat. I know, I'm getting invaded by squirrels. <laughs> I got, I've got squirrels in my attic. <laughs> uh, man, he hasn't seen this game yet, I don't think. Uh, I'm not sure. He, he may have jumped in and lurked sometimes. But, oh my god, these tanks. <laughs> they are... Absolutely massive, and gorgeous. And and, and, I, and I think it's so funny having the little uh, having a little spigot. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Like this massive, massive tank and a little spigot coming out. Yeah, I I'm even looking at the. Uh, 
And the Olamite. And the Olamite still only had 174,000. And for this thing to fill up, it, it can hold 600,000. What's this thing <laughs> hold? Jeez. The liquid permalite's also at 170,000. <laughs> going. Well, but like I said, we're, we're burning through the permalite. Yeah. It doesn't, I, I this, looking at this screen doesn't matter. This doesn't help us. <laughs> if we want to know where we're at resource wise on the permalite, we got to come over here to the radio tower. Let's take a look at the sales. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're burning through the burn light. <laughs> no question there. Okay. Why is why is my drone suddenly dropping? You running out of stuff to build them? check but the currency storage the, the permalite bars it had over 20,000 and we're down to 13,000 <laughs> that's what I'm saying oh I may have screwed us matter of fact I am gonna do that what did you do <laughs> oh, I removed a pipeline connection to the giant tank. Um, so the burn light bars will continue going into our research. Uh oh. Before we burn through all of it. <laughs> oh. Because you're turning it all into liquid. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> That's not good. Exactly. Yeah, this this factory over here is starting to. It was a mess. It's starting to get a little bit more fine. Starting down there at that end, but yeah. How'd you play the game more? You're learning better ways of building and. Keeping oh things yeah! All nice. Absolutely. Yeah, th this this area over here is just an absolute mess. But there's no good way to clean this up. Yeah, without tearing it all down and then yeah. spreading it out. Yeah. Way. Don't think I hadn't thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I can only spread out so far. But, uh... Alright, well, chat, we are past the 11 o'clock time. I've got work tomorrow. Sorry, Tundra. <laughs> Just let me know if oh, you're yes. about to make a save so I can... <laughs> I'm, oh, well, I'm saving. <laughs> okay. Making a save here. Right. Pencils down. Oh, stop what you're doing. Oh, and, and, and then it, and then it auto saves <laughs> immediately afterwards. Yeah. Um, Pencils so down. Stop give what me. You're doing. Uh, let's take a quick second here, chat. Let's uh, take a look. Let's see. Uh oh. Who all? The, who all that I follow? Uh -oh. You said. You said. Uh oh. Uh oh. That what? was me. Let's see who's on. Ooh. I haven't given her a raid in a while. Ever, actually. Uh. Let's 
guys, let's uh let's go give Bluebell a raid. All right, we have left the game. Got quite a bit done, um, at least for me, uh, my side. You know, doing the whole, uh, doing the whole mining and stuff. I forgot to get a uh, get a photo uh, for the thumbnail. Whoops. You know, we can go back in actually. We go back into single player. I do have the game. I just saved it too. So that's the cool thing I like about this is you can take other people's saves and save it on your local machine. And then you can mess with stuff. So yeah, we uh we actually got uh, quite a bit done. Um, we got this done, at least for this. So we're gonna be doing a hundred and twenty. Dragon doesn't know it yet. He'll probably see this, but yeah, uh, we're gonna be doing a hundred and twenty minute because I've got twenty of these machines making. You're gonna be making these maintenance drones, and all that stuff's gonna be coming up from below. That's why I have a logistics floor and a production floor because i'm not going to be able to do all the logistics and the production all on this platform it's just not going to fit um so uh that and then uh part of the part of the landing platform for like deliveries and stuff is going to be like off the side of the platform uh, i'm going to put like i want to put like structure legs coming up from the, the floor below and supporting like a landing pad almost like a helicopter pad you know in a way if you see like those i might raise it up actually um i think that would be pretty cool too to raise it up like up to that level and then have stuff go in underneath and then maybe like a maybe like some lifts and stuff to connect it in. i think that'd be pretty cool um as well so yeah uh, we got all, but at least we got all the ores pretty much done. Um, it's just too bad I can't work on this while he's gone. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's the dedicated server. Hopefully, you know, I, I would recommend just specifically for the developer side is just go with the more popular um, uh, server hosting, uh, server hosting companies. Just go with them. Um, unless, I guess, unless you signed a very exclusive agreement which can happen and it'd be stupid to do but um yeah just uh, go with some uh go some more um sign a contract with uh, some of the more popular ones so that more people can get servers and stuff because that would be great <laughs> you know but that's that's up totally up to them but uh yeah like i said uh we got all four inputs by the way uh planned out so uh, three of the inputs come in here one input comes in on the side then of course you had uh I don't know if you've seen any, you see me building the output, which goes around. I did have to cut that corner off. I guess I could have moved this back, uh, and I might I might still end up doing that, just to fit the little corner um, a little bit better. Uh, but that'll have to be next time. Unfortunately, like I said, I can't build on here because it's not going to reflect in his game when he loads it up. So, um, but yeah, we got all the ores pretty much done. Yeah, this is what the map looks like now. It actually don't look too bad. If you're wondering what these green dots are, these green dots are power connectors. Uh, they, I know they look like crap, but uh, that was the best way to do it, to get the elevator connected uh, and then to bring the power up to this level where we have the uh, we have the uh, 12 um, transform the transformer room down below and stuff like that. I thought that would be pretty cool, but anyway like i was saying uh that is going to be it for this episode uh if you want I'd like to find out dragon's um uh channel you can find his link down in the description below um sorry i hiccup there <laughs> but uh you can find his channel link down in the description below as well as you can find him and others over on the friendly content creator section um, finding all kinds of people on there so uh, definitely check that out if you are interested um but like I said, that is going to be it. So I do hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I guess it's a goodbye. <laughs>